Hello, I'm ABX Toycat, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be going through some noob mistakes you can make when you first get into Minecraft. I made one of these videos before, and people really seem to like the video, whether it's because they made the mistakes themselves and could empathize, or because, you know, they knew someone who had made the mistakes. I thought it would be a good enough reason to go through and make a second batch of noob mistakes in Minecraft. So, please do like the video if you do like it, because it helps out the channel a lot, and let's know you want to see more stuff like this on the channel. And let's get straight into this one already with the first noob mistake, which is one, honestly, I made from time to time. Uh, it's been a while since I last made it, but because of the, uh, you know, bone mill updates in 1.6, uh, you know, a lot of the time you might be like, okay then, so let's place our sapling down and let's bone mill it. And then you think, oh yeah, it can take two to four bone mill, and you're like, oh, maybe it takes more. And uh, before you know it, you've wasted your entire stack of bone mill and have no tree or bone mill and the reasoning behind this is that if you have a sapling too close to a wall or somewhere it can be obstructed, it won't be able to grow it. So make sure, you know, you, you move the sapling to somewhere where it can grow before you bone mill it. Because, uh, yeah, it's basically one that if, if, if you're used to the old bone mill system, then you might make mistakes like that. And I know, uh, like I said, I've made it at least once or twice. And <laughs> it's it's a little bit embarrassing to waste an entire stack of bone mill or something. So just bear that in mind. And uh, let's move on to the second noob mistake, which is one that, you know, comes from a good place. Because you might think, oh, the bed's really important. We're going to protect it really, really hard. And uh, that means, you know, digging a hole in the ground for it and then protecting it with stone bricks or something. And you might think, oh yeah, my, my bed's going to be so protected now, no one can find it and stuff. But the problem with doing this and, you know, covering your bed and stuff like this is that, in, you know, you might, because I can't sleep right now, but I have slept here before, uh, you might think, oh yeah, that's such a cool idea, because now, you know, there's no way someone's going to take my bed. But it kind of works the opposite way to how you might figure, because now what will happen is when I next die, when I think I need to go back and run and get my stuff, uh, instead of respawning in my bed, my bed will be obstructed and I'll spawn at my spawn, and that's going to be awful and terrible. So I'll show you this by using new mistake number three, which is never dig down, or digging down is the mistake, and basically... It's one of the best ones to make some time. Only dig down if you're willing to deal with lava under every single block. So I've got to be ready for lava under this dirt block. Otherwise, you know, if, if it happens, I'm going to be dead. So I'm like, oh no, there's no lava under there. Ah, there's lava under there. And then you're dead. Because it, it literally takes that fast for lava to kill you. Your armor's not going to help you out too much. And uh, you need a water bucket or something to save you. And even then, it's kind of risky. So I wouldn't dig down if I was you. If you really need to get somewhere fast down there, then it's a pretty good idea. But yeah, other than that, don't do that. Also, you notice my bed was missing or obstructed. And uh, that's kind of a, 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 an after effect of uh, new mistake number two. So don't do either of those things. Don't do them together or you get double the pain. So moving on to new mistake number four. This is one, again, that's only been possible as recent because of uh, an update which allowed for classic crafting on the consoles. But uh, it's always been possible on PC. And I've made it a few times there because sometimes you just think, oh, let's just use our entire stack of items because, you know, I've just come back from my mining trip where I've got 22 diamonds. So you make yourself an axe because you're like, oh, I need to get myself some, uh, you know, some wood. But then you you, you make the axes and you're like, oh, I, I shift clicked or I, uh, you know, press wide and said that. And now I've got six diamond or five diamond axes instead of one. And, you know, that's kind of terrible because a lot of people won't even have one diamond axe, let alone five. There's a reason you didn't go out of your way to craft them, and uh, yeah, burn them in lava. That that definitely makes it better, I swear. But yeah, <laughs> uh, crafting lots of something when you mean to make one is a often uh, new mistake that I know I I, I made on the PC before, and uh, that I know will happen a lot on the console now because of uh, you know PC style crafting. So let's move on to new mistake number five, which is kind of following on from one in the last video, because you know a potion of harming. You might think, oh, I can harm mobs by staring at them and drinking it. I don't know, because you you know it seems kind of pointless that there's a potion that you drink it and it just makes you hurt. The, the same is true for weakness, uh, except this one now it has the label saying minus 0.5 attack damage. And you might think, wow, it makes all the mobs around you have less attack damage? That sounds awesome. And you chug it away, and then you realize, oh, I have the weakness effect. And you might not even realize then you might go into attack someone, uh, but not minus 0.5 attack damage means it will actually take you, you know, 32 hits to even kill a spider, 40 something hits to kill a zombie. And uh, if that thing has armor, or if you're killing the player, it basically just entirely nerfs you. If you don't have a weapon or something, we fortunately do have a diamond axe, then you're going to be uh, kind of broken there. And although I don't think it's the most powerful potion in the world, like, I, I don't really recommend it that much for PvP because it's not that useful. I do think it's a funny noob mistake to make when you're like, oh, let's make all the mobs or let, let's make other players weaker by drinking the potion because, of course, it's kind of the opposite of that because now now I'm going to be weak for the next three minutes. So, um, speaking of being weak for the next three minutes, um, <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the Never for this next one because... Um, by the way, some floating water over here, just just chilling there. But um, but uh, basically, yeah, I'm gonna need to head for the Never for this next one because of the fact that uh, oh, I don't have a real Never board here anymore. 
but uh, so let's just fly over to one because of the fact that uh, you know a lot of people they're like oh we finally made it to the nether this is really cool I want to live in the nether forever so um, oh I don't have a nether portal over there I, I forget where my nether portal is. oh here's one but yeah so uh, basically a lot of people make the mistake where they're like oh so uh, you know I really like the nether I'm doing pretty well here how about we set up a house here how about we set up this entire thing and you know they make whole plans and they make like an entire overworld in the nether and then they're like okay let's place the bed down let's set our spawn in the nether then and uh, I'm sure you know where this is going but you're like okay let's sleep in the bed and of course that happens because beds beds explode in the nether exactly what the logic for that is is beyond me because there's no time in the nether so there's no night time so you shouldn't be able to sleep there but the fact that beds blow up kind of just says uh maybe they check if you know for the time they're like ah there's no time and then they just instantly blow up either way it seems a bit weird it seems a bit funny and uh yeah it looks like i'm uh, i'm trapped on this island now so uh yeah that is new mistake number six setting your pulling a bed down the nether because there's no logic that tells you oh yeah d don't put beds in uh, don't put beds in the nether they'll explode there's no time and uh, uh, I, I've personally made that mistake and uh, I'm sure many of you have because it's such an easy one to troll your friends with like oh yeah let's make a house just bring all your valuables put it in the chest oh and then you know go, go put your bed next to it and let's go to sleep together I mean it's just a, such an easy one and it's one worth avoiding. <laughs> so yeah, make sure you do that. So, uh, handy little water bucket trick. Always saving me, getting me down from places. I hope you did all enjoy the video. If you did, please do like it and let me know. It helps out the channel a lot and lets me know you do like it. Share it if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like this every single day on my channel. And if subscribed, you'll see them dead on your homepage. I'll try and leave a link to the first set of new mistakes in the description in case you want to know about those. But otherwise, um, I guess I'll see you all in the next video. Oh, the sapling grew. Isn't that a perfect end to a, a happy story? Well, it's a happy story now. But yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.